Behold, the dwelling of God is with mankind. He will dwell with them and they shall be his people and God himself will be with them and be their God. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth, our mouth shall proclaim your praise. praise. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy, to the Holy Spirit. Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. 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 Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God. Whoever does not love will not know God, for God is love. And this love of God is revealed among us. That God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through Jesus Christ. In this is love. Not that we loved God, but God loved us and sent his son that sins might be forgiven. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we ought also to love one another. For if we love one another, God abides in us and God's love will be perfected in us. A reading from two Esdras. Mother, embrace your children, bring them up with gladness as does a dove, strengthen their feet because I have chosen you, says the Lord, and I will raise up the dead from their places and bring them out from their tombs because I recognize my name in them. Do not fear, mother of children, for I have chosen you, says the Lord. I will send you help, my servants Isaiah and Jeremiah. According to their counsel, I have consecrated and prepared for you 12 trees loaded with various fruits and the same number of springs flowing with milk and honey and seven mighty mountains on which roses and lilies grow. By these, I will fill your children with joy. Guard the rights of the widow, secure justice for the ward, give to the needy, defend the orphan, clothe the naked, Care for the injured and the weak. Do not ridicule the lame. Protect the maimed. And let the blind have a vision of my splendor. Protect the old and the young within your walls. When you find any who are dead, commit them to the grave and mark it, and I will give you the first place in my resurrection. Pause and be quiet, my people, because your rest will come. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. <laughs> Let's read responsibly Psalm 119. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. I have sworn, have sworn and determined and to keep your right judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips and teach me your judgment. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. One of the dinner guests, on hearing this, said to him, Blessed is anyone who will eat bread in the kingdom of God. Then Jesus said to him, Someone gave a great dinner and invited many. At the time for the dinner, he sent his slave to say to those who had been invited, Come, for everything is ready now. So they all alike began to make excuses. The first said to him, I have bought a piece of land, and I must go out and see it. Please accept my apologies. Another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I am going to try them out. Please accept my apologies. Another said, I have just been married, and therefore I cannot come. So the slave returned and reported this to his master. Then the owner of the house became angry and said to his slave, Go out at once into the streets and lanes of the town and bring in the poor, the crippled, the blind, and the lame. And the slave said, Sir, what you ordered has been done, and there is still room. Then the master said to the slave, go out into the roads and lanes and compel people to come in 
so that my house may be filled. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thanks be God. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everybody. I apologize, I was having some computer problems there for a second, but I'm back. <laughs> Today's uh, Saint of the Day bio from Alan is from is about Mother Seton, which might sound familiar to you. Yeah. Elizabeth Ann Bailey Seton was the founder of the Sisters of Charity, the first community of sisters native to the United States. She was also a wife, a widow, a single mother, an educator, and a social activist and spiritual leader. Elizabeth Bailey was born in New York City in 1774. She endured a turbulent childhood and suffered severe bouts of depression. She survived by immersing herself in poetry, piano lessons, and devoted participation in the Episcopal Church. In 1795, she married William Seton. <clears throat> Samuel Provost, the first Episcopal Bishop of New York, presided over the wedding. Three years later, her father-in-law died, leaving her husband with the responsibility for a large family and a struggling family business, and Elizabeth with a large inherited family to care for. In 1801, the business failed, and the Setons lost everything. Her husband showed the symptoms of tuberculosis, and in 1803, they set sail for Italy in the hopes that the warm climate would cure his disease. The Italian authorities, fearing yellow fever, quarantined them in a stone, cold stone hospital for the dying. William soon died and left Elizabeth a young widow with five children and few resources. While in Italy, she discovered Roman Catholicism. Returning to New York, she encountered bitter opposition to her new religious leanings. With five children to support, she felt alone and estranged. She turned to Roman Catholic clergy for support. And in 1805, she formally converted to Roman Catholicism. In 1806, she met Father Louis Dubourg, who wanted to start a congregation of women religious patterned after the French Daughters of Charity. In 1809, Elizabeth took vows and became Mother Seton to a small community of seven women dedicated to teachings. The sisters were given land in rural Maryland, and in 1810, they opened St. Joseph's Free School to educate needy girls. The sisters intertwined social ministry, education, and religious formation in all their varied works. Mother Seton dispatched sisters to operate orphanages in Philadelphia and New York. Elizabeth Ann Seton remained the mother of the Sisters of Charity until her death on January 4th, 1821. In 1975, she was canonized by the Roman Catholic Church as the first native-born American to be so honored. Oh, that's nice. Mother Seton. Lord have mercy. Christ, Christ, have, Christ mercy. have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed, hallowed be heaven. thy name. Thy Not kingdom come, thy Lord. will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. glory. Forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lord, hear our cry. And let and our cry, cry come to you. <laughs> let us pray. Holy God, you blessed Elizabeth Seton with your grace as wife, mother, educator, and founder, that she might spend her life in service to your people. Help us by her example to express our love for you in love of others. Through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Holy God, you have brought us in wholeness to a new year. Make us mindful of the necessities of others, determined in our efforts to meet both their needs and ours, and joyful in gratitude for all we have, that in passing of time may bring us closer to you in this life, and union with your divine majesty in the life to come. In the holy name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. 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 Siblings, God commands us through Jesus Christ to love one another. In baptism, we promise to seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving our neighbors as ourselves, to strive for justice and peace, and to respect the dignity of every human being. Let us now honor these vows and let us pray for our nation for wise and just leaders. 
and for the needs of others throughout our country and the world. We pray for blessings on all peacemakers, on leaders who value peace, and on everyone who promotes nonviolent solutions to conflict. We pray for a speedy end to all violence and warfare around the world. God of love and your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the strength of heart and mind to look beyond ourselves and address the needs of our siblings throughout the world, for the rural and urban poor, for the rebuilding of our communities, and for an end to the cycles of violence that threaten our future. God of love and your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for all nations that they may live in unity, peace, and concord, and that all people may know justice and enjoy the perfect freedom that only God can give. God of love in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We commend to our nation, we commend our nation to the Lord's care. Grant to Joseph our president, Kathy our governor, and to all in authority wisdom and strength to know and do the Lord's will. Fill them with the love of truth and righteousness and make them ever mindful of their calling to serve the people of this land. God of love and your mercy. Your Your prayer. prayer. We pray for the church militant throughout the world that it may be an instrument of your healing love. We pray especially for Justin of Canterbury, Michael our presiding bishop, Larry our bishop, Lauren our rector, and Kurt our rector emeritus. God of love and your mercy. We pray that the Holy Spirit may embrace the most vulnerable members of our society. We pray also for an end to the growing disparity between the rich and poor, and for the grace and courage to strive for economic justice. God of love and your mercy. We pray for an end to prejudice throughout our country and the world, that we will respect all people as precious children of God and that discrimination based on ethnic, religious, or gender differences will be forever banished from our hearts, our society, and our laws. God of love, in your mercy. We pray for reverence of creation, that we will have the tools and the will to conserve it, that we will use its resources in the service of others, and we will become better stewards of all that has been entrusted to us. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all immigrants, refugees, and pilgrims around the world, that they may be welcomed in our midst and treated with fairness, dignity, and respect. God of love, in your mercy. Hear Hear our our prayer. prayer. We pray for all prisoners and captives, that a spirit of forgiveness may replace vengeance and retribution, and that we, with all the destitute, lonely, and oppressed, may be restored to the fullness of God's grace. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Oh, prayer. We pray for all children and families, particularly for the orphaned, neglected, and abused, and those who live in fear of violence or disease, that they may be relieved and protected. God of love, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Bless the Lord, physicians, nurses, and first responders, and all others who minister to the suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. We pray especially for Dr. Elizabeth Engelman, Dr. Dan Griffin, Dr. Jeff Karowski, Dr. Rachel Simpson, Karen Liu, Eva Longmire, Brenda Marshall, Susan Dietz Massingill, Kat Bates, Norena Guerra, and those responding to natural and human made disasters. God of love in your mercy. We pray for the sick, the aged, and infirm, for those with physical or mental disabilities that all may have access to proper health care, and God's loving embrace may be felt by all who suffer. We hold before you especially Hank, Peter, Bob, Joe, Mark, Pam, MB, Marion, Clay, Kai, Frank, Mark, Michael, Kimberly, Tina, Carol, Sue D, Todd, Carol, Stephanie, Einstein, Danny M, Pamela, Martin, Charlie, Tom, Amy, Nancy, Sue B, Libby, Elizabeth, Janet, Audrey, D, Leanne, Joe D, those who are suffering as a result of natural and human-made disasters, all those hurt by gun violence in our nation, and all affected by COVID-19. 
God of love and your mercy. Hear our prayer. We commend to you, Lord, all who have died, remembering especially the most reverend Desmond Tutu and Betty White, those killed nationwide as a result of gun violence, and the millions worldwide who have died from COVID-19. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. God of love and your mercy. Hear our prayer. Almighty God, we have prom you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your son. Watch over our country now and in the days ahead and make your ways known among all people. Accept and fulfill our petitions, we pray, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. May the light of God surround us, the love of God enfold us, the power of God protect us, and the presence of God watch over us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.